this is the big office. This is where the top brass are for the Australian Department of Defence. The Australian Signals Directorate. Kathy Vogan's going to give us a few words about how they're used for surveillance technologies. Well, I've got a... I've never used one of these before. I'm a teacher. And these are my teacher's aides. And they explain the relationship between the ASD and the NSA, ASIO and the CIA. And you can see that the Australian Signals Directorate is small and national security is large. You can also see that what goes back, what goes to the Americans, pretty well all we know, but what comes back is only a little bit. It was only a little bit when back in the Whitlam era, Christopher Boyce, the Falcon and the Snowman, he was working at the NSA and he said that they were doing everything they could to remove off Whitlam. Why were they doing that? Because he actually wanted to know what was going on in Pine Gap. He wanted to close it down. Lionel Murphy raided it. They were shitting themselves over there because they wanted to keep their eyes on Russia. And we were their eyes. And they were just freaking out. There was somebody they called Our Man Kerr. And they also named Bob Hawke, who worked very well to help them out and save their eyes. Yeah, and Kerr got rid of our Prime Minister for them. They were all drinking champagne that day. Now, this is still the case today. One of the reasons I think that it's called the ASD now and not the DSD is because it's never been about defence, right? And especially now, watching citizens 319,000 warrantless interceptions of Australian citizens have been done. In 2011 to 2012, there were 300,000. Julian Assange talks about that. And I have a little quote from Julian. The internet has been turned into a militarily occupied state when all of our private communications heartfelt, the inner core of our life, communications between boyfriends and girlfriends, between husbands and wives, sons and daughters, between business partners, even between bureaucracies and states. When all of those communications are swept up, hoovered up into a vast collection apparatus, indexed and stored for all time, available only to a select few. Then we are in the situation where we have a tank on the streets of the inner core of our lives, where we have a soldier under our bed, listening to everything that a husband and wife say to each other when they are communicating on email or SMS. And that was on the President of Indonesia and his wife. Oh, of course. David Rosenberg was working at Pine Gap for 18 years. Fran Kelly from the ABC interviewed him and she said, Australians object to Pine Gap because for them it is a foreign base on our soil. And he replied, oh no, everything that comes into Pine Gap is shared. It's a joint facility. So she said to him, well, in that case, how did you guys feel when George W. Bush was saying that there were weapons of mass destruction and you guys knew there weren't? Oh, good honor. And he said, <laughs> well, we didn't see proof one way or the other, but of course the White House gets a lot more information than what we do. Uh, and that says it all, says folks. It all. Yeah. That is why we have us as the little people and the National Security Agency as the big people. The people in the know, the people 
who her jump to attention. <laughs> and as I say, we still don't have much of a clue about what our own surfaces are doing in the country. I actually find it very ironic in a way that it's an American eagle at the top because that's what it's all about. And that's what we're not allowed to actually say. And that's what we're not allowed to know. But NSA, ASD, CIA, ASIO, we are watching you too. Yay. 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 Yay.